So I'm just taking one of these carvable pumpkins from the Dollar Tree and painting it with some white acrylic paint. I'm pretty pretty excited about this little project. We'll just see how it turns out. I had planned to spend today doing major crafting. And I took a little got a little sidetracked and went and got online and was looking at things on Facebook and all the other social media sites and I was um, looking at things at Walmart and just putting this project off and I'm not sure why because this is I think a fairly simple project and really cute. I think it's going to be really cute. So, I don't know. And I was really, like, looking forward to having this day of crafting. So, I don't know how I got sidetracked or why. This is a Dollar Tree candlestick. So cute. This is a Dollar Tree candle plate. You find these in the candle section. I heard some people say, I can never find those clear plates at my Dollar Tree, but I think it's because they're looking by the dishes and the stuff, and it's really a candle holder, so it's by the candle stuff. So since I don't know where my regular Vaseline is, look, I'm Oh, look, that's pretty cool. I could have inverted it. In fact, I wish I had, because that way it could still be used as a candle holder. You could turn it over if you wanted to. Totally. That's really cool. Well, maybe next time. And then if you did use it as a candle holder, you could always camouflage this, you know, with a candle ring of some kind or some decorative leaves or snowflakes or, you know, whatever you've got, something that matches the season or just a nice little scarf or, yeah, I mean, so many options, a dish towel, a washcloth, you know. Yeah, so that would have been a really great idea. But anyway, the objective here is I want to get some of this creepy cloth and have it draped over this. And I had considered doing a, a treatment where you take your fabric and you, you dump it in um, glue and water and cornstarch. And yeah, by the way, a lot of people don't know about the cornstarch. Um, if you add the cornstarch to the glue and water mix, it makes it harden so much better. It's not pliable anymore. or And so you use that. Like a lot of people are doing those, um, you know, you take a balloon and you wrap it or you take a round ball and you wrap it with string and, it, and then you pop the balloon or the ball and then you've got like a string ornament that looks really cool. Well, yeah, add cornstarch to your glue and water mixture, and that'll help keep everything really hard. 
Alright, so I do want to add a drape to this. I kind of want it to be jiggity jaggedy, so I'm all nervous about that method. Um, oh, and I just so I decided not to do that glue treatment because that just adds a little more difficulty to the project that isn't necessary when you can just simply take your thing, drape it over here, and then obviously it's still usable for other holidays. You can continue to use it seasonally and regularly you just remove this and go from there so I totally just, you know, grabbed the material and started pulling on it. Like that. You can just pull it and tear it into the shapes that you want. <laughs> 